Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Thank you very much for being on time. You know the drill, right? Cameras on, full names displayed, and let's take attendance. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Chacón de Garcia. No, present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. No, present. Claudia Lisette Canales de Enriquez. Claudia. Not present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Thank you. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. Thank you. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Thank you, sir. Carla Enet Amaya Zara. Carla Janet. No present. Carla Maria Quintanilla Vilés. No present. Por motivos de auditoría en SAFOR, la participante manifestó que tiene problemas de salud y tratará de conectarse. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Thank you. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Lando Verde. Present. Thank you, sir. Miren Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thank you. Natalia Carolina González. Present. Thank you. Don Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Cine Marisabel Alberto Chávez. Cine Marisabel Alberto Chávez. No, present. Sabrina Manuel Latín Castro. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thanks. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you, sir. Okay. Anybody that just got here, I couldn't mention? Me, Ivania. Okay. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Present. Present. Claudia Lisette Canales de Enriquez. Present. Thank you. Let me see. Carla Inet, not here. Ready, guys. Thank you. So um, let's get started. Who can tell me what was yesterday's class? Mm -hmm. Yesterday's topic. Nobody. It's less than 24 hours, guys. Come on. Tips to write a formal email. Thank you very much, Miguel. Mm -hmm. So, what is one of the first tips or the first tip that we learned? Don't use uh, capitals. Okay. Yep, don't use capitals, correct. Teacher, go again. Bueno. Give me a second. Give me a second. Ana María Chacón de García. Present. Thank you. Okay. So, yep. Don't use all capitals. Or how do you say minúsculas? Mm, lowercase. Lowercase. That's right. How do you say mayúscula? Mm, uppercase. Uppercase. Yeah. You can say uppercase too. Mm -hmm. Uppercases. Or capital. The difference is, guys, that capital is the first one. Okay? Capital is la primera. And then uppercases puede ir como todo en uppercases. O se le puede decir all capitals, too. Great. Um, what can you tell me about the subject? ¿Qué me pueden decir del subject del email? Uh, should be brief. And... Mm, almost there. Hey, come mm. on, guys, check your notes. You did this yesterday and you did it great. Saturday. Uh huh. So, what about the subject line? What can you tell me about it? Mm. There's one word yeah. I'm looking for. Hay una palabra en específico que estoy buscando. Que es lo que le da toda la importancia y la relevancia. 
the objective of the email? Yes. The title, maybe? Yes. And yes. the date? Uh, mm -hmm. So, great, thank you for, for, for trying. It must be relevant, okay? So you must give details like you're saying. Um, how are you going to say hi to the person you're texting? ¿Cómo le van a decir hola? ¿Cómo van a saludar? Good morning, dear miss. Someone said someone said something. Being polite, right? Polite. Mm -hmm. What expressions do we have? Good morning. Good morning. Dear, dear, Mr. dear. Mr. Mrs. Uh -huh, Mr. Mrs. That's dear. right. Etc. Now, en el folleto sí tenemos good morning. Y sí está bien, pero acuérdense que la persona probablemente no lo lea en la mañana. Okay, just a tip. So it is accepted, but you know, I wouldn't use it. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. Tell me. Vaya, pero en caso vaya, en correos a veces cabal lo que usted dice, ¿verdad? No siempre como por la hora usamos como buen día, eh, uh -huh. buen día, sino que a veces es buen día y creo que eso abarca como para cualquier hora del día. Entonces, como en un correo ya escribirlo en inglés, ¿cómo sería como decir buen día? O solo es como dear de un solo. Yeah, I would use dear uh, porque buen día no se ocupa como saludo, se ocupa eh. como despedida. In the third mm. one. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Or even informally speaking, have a good one. This is informal. I use it a lot. Have a good mm. one. Que tengas uno bueno. Que el día. Have a good one. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. You see, that's what I like. I mean, participation. So, turkey face, guys. <laughs> what about the opening sentence? What can you tell me about the opening sentence? Should we go to the point? Exactly. You should go straight to the point, right? Um, that's it. Straight to the point is directo al grano. Directo al punto. Okay, great. Straight to the point. What about abbreviations? Can we use them? No. 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 How do you say no deberíamos? No, we, we shouldn't. We shouldn't, that's right. Good. Can you say, come here or schedule my meeting for tomorrow? Or do we have to say please and thanks? Or thank you in this case. ¿Podemos ir patada al pecho con lo que pedimos o tenemos que ser amables? Amables. Exactly. How do you say amables in English? Climb. Okay, great. Now, what about the message? Should it be brief or long? Brief. And what happens if it's a lot of information? Uh, the uh, attachment, with attachment. That's right. You got to use attachment. Guys, I need more participation. You're doing great, but I need more people involved. What about the closing? What phrases can you tell me about the closing? Best regards. Uh, best regards. Best regards. Best regards. Mm -hmm. Have a good one. <laughs> yes, yes, but that's going to be mm. informal. Uh, have a nice have a day. Nice day. Yeah, have a great day. Have a nice day. Have a great day. Yeah, that's, that's way better. Great. Following. What about at the end of the email? What do we have to include after we say bye? Signature. Your signature, correct. What is it required in the signature? Can I see? Uh, the name. Name. Phone. Phone number. Phone number. The address. Address. Uh, address. Company Your logo. Company. company logo if you have it. Company. Great. And what do you have to do? This is simple present, guys. What do you have to do before you hit send? Um, yes. 
review the image. I can't remember how do you say, but. Edit in proof uh, before approve, you send approve. the message. Pegarle una chequeada. You can say, the... you can say double check. Double check. You can say edit. Before send the, the email. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can check it before sending the email. Um, great, fantastic. Do you guys have any question about this? No? Okay, no. so my recommendation for this is you don't have to memorize this. No tienen que memorizarlo, right? Pero si eso es algo que ustedes hacen en su empresa, hagan estos pasos en un pequeño post-it, un sticky note, así se llaman los sticky notes. Sticky notes. Porque se pegan. Sticky es como pegajoso, right? Sticky notes. And use it as a checklist. Nice. Una checklist que vaya, quiero ver, ya le puse el subject. Check, 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 check. Okay. Very good. So let's get, let's start today's class. Go ahead and read after me, please. I will be able to provide written and oral instructions. I will be able to provide oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Etiquette, etiquette, you know, etiquette. either or. Mm -hmm. I will use etiquette on this one. I like okay. it better. All right, so say with me, please. Re mm. This sound, you're going to say it like this. Re so you're going to go from the T to the N with no vowel. Okay. Vamos a pasar de la T a la N sin Written. vocal. Written. So es como que hagan la T. I don't think we have Written. this in Spanish, do we? ¿Verdad que no lo tenemos en español? El T. Mm. Oh. No, uh, I've no. been trying to get one for years and I haven't found one. So, sí. where? <laughs> no, I don't know. Cuando saborea algo, dice. A ah, mí but... me quieres para... Mm. Mm. Come on, man. You're no. still on the beach. <laughs> Mute. <laughs> okay. So, moteado por Bayunco. So, in that case, guys... <laughs> Is that pronunciation is going to help you with different words like mountain. Say me, please. Mountain. 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 No necesitan pegar los labios. Mountain. Mountain. So this is what I'm telling you guys. Una vez ustedes aprenden a, a pronunciar uno de los 44 fonemas, se empiezan a repetir en varias palabras. Si lo pueden hacer en uno, lo pueden hacer en los demás. Así que practiquen esas tres palabras. Written, uh, fountain, mountain. Esas tres. Written, fountain, mountain. Say with me like this. Written, written. fountain, mountain. Written, fountain, mountain. Written, fountain, mountain. Good. And try to give it a little bit of melody. When you're practicing, right? Written fountain mountain. Mm. Written fountain mountain. Mm. I don't know. Do whatever you gotta do. Make it fun. Make it entertain. All right. One more time. I will be able to provide written and oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace. I will be able to provide oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Volunteer, please, for English and Spanish. Ahí sí se quedan callados todos. Come on, guys. Fernando. Go, Fernando. Pro provide written and oral instructions on etiquette at the workplace. Great job. So, what, what does this mean, guys? Uh, Proveer uh, oral instrucciones orales y escritas de sobre la forma de, 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 de etiquetes como, como la forma de, de vestir. Mm, that's exactly what we're going to discuss here. That's right. So it it does have to do with the with your with a dressing code, but it also has to do with 
how do you say comportamiento? Behavior. Behavior, that's right. So say with me, please. Is, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Is the word, is the the word, word etiquette, etiquette familiar, familiar, to you? familiar to you? Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Are these rules important? Are these rules important? Now, if you noticed, si se fijaron, if you noticed, we also have the same sound here. We don't say important. The A is not pronounced. We go important. Great. So, guys, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to find out how to answer these questions. Para que ustedes averigüen cómo contestar estas preguntas y que traten de dar su opinión. Okay? So, go straight to the point. If you don't know, say, I don't know, but I think, and always give your opinion. Siempre dan su opinión de como buenos salvadoreños que son. No sabemos, pero opinamos. Why? I need you to practice your speaking skills. So go ahead and answer these three questions, guys. I'm going to be give you approximately seven to ten minutes, depending on how you're going, and try to practice from the start. All right? That they can piercing, traten de contestar esas preguntas. You can go one by one. Hey, uh, I need a volunteer. Volunteer. Fernando. Okay, great. Fernando vas a aprender bastante. You're going to learn a lot. The rest of you, come on, guys, keep up. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Uh, so, so. Ahí está. ¿Ya vieron, guys? ¿Dijo un montón Fernando? No. Pero contestó. That's the point. Sé que les puede dar miedo, especialmente con que 20 personas que pueden pensar que los van a que lo van a criticar o lo que sea, todos estamos aprendiendo. So, no necesitan darme una gran respuesta, pero sí necesito que tengan la actitud de contestar, ¿ok? So, Fernando, mention two roles of etiquette at your workplace. Uh, I think uh, arrive, arrive early to work is, is one, okay. one example. Uh -huh. um, good, uh, good, uh, name of the email uh, write your email properly uh-huh uh, and uh, are, are these rules important uh, for 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 formal environment yes i think why I, uh, because uh, uh, i communicate with my clients or my co-workers and i i must be serious okay uh, informal okay fantastic so um before we go to the questions les pareció difícil lo que hizo fernando honestamente les pareció difícil para unos sí para otros no y sí es difícil okay aquí es donde necesito que se apoyen como como puedo decir que que sí que son importantes porque son normas de comportamiento Ayúdense y traten de decir eso, ¿ok? So, al agua patos. Go for it, seven to ten minutes, and try to answer these three questions, all right? Go for it. Accept the invite, please. Carla and Nafta, did you get the invite? Hello, hello. 
Carlenet, Nafta. Este en su lugar, su trabajo y son estas reglas importantes y por qué. Eso, eso tenemos que preguntar entonces. Teacher, Tell me. Eh, lo, lo que nos mandó ahorita es el grupo, eso tenemos que responder. Yes, sir. Y tres. Yes, sir. Ah, ok. <laughs> Come on, you can do this. Ok. <laughs> Para. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> ok, let's go. Quiero ver. Esas reglas de etiqueta, más o menos, ¿qué son, teacher? <laughs> um, Las normas para comportarte en un lugar, para hablar, para vestirte. Ah. La María va a estar, va a poder estar participando activamente. No quiero, no quiero perder lo que está diciendo, porque mañana tengo un día bien pesado y no voy a poder repetir la clase tampoco. Ok, understood. So let me get someone else para que practique aquí, ok? Give me just a second. Mm -hmm. Podría ser, pero... La primera es una palabra de etiqueta familiar. Hey Miguel, tú... I'm changing your group because Ana María is at work. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so okay. help each other out. Hi, Hi René and Ana María. Okay, eh, question number one, Yasuba. Number two. No, go with number one. Okay, number one. Is the word uh, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, yes, or yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Okay, go for it. Help each other. Okay, uh, mention and the first. Uh, for me, yes. Why? Because because it demands existence at work. And Claudia. Um, podría ser este Hector um, use Use a low tone of voice, como usar un tono de voz bajo. Yes. Podría, podría ser un... Nice, great, Claudia, and great, Hector. That's what I'm talking about, helping each other out, participating, great job. Hey, thank you, teacher. You have a other idea? Claudia. Nafta is here, too. Hola Natalia. So, hola, buenas noches. Sorry, teacher, no tuve ahí un contratiempo y me, se me no pude, no pude estar ahí, no escuché lo, lo de la clase. Okay, no worries. Thank you for being here anyways. Gracias por estar acá todos. Check the chat. We are answering some questions. Okay. All right. Thank you. Keep it up, you're doing great. Let me check someone else. Okay. Bueno, okay. entonces, entonces yo course. lo que había puesto, ajá, eh, yo lo que decía, yes, the word tag is familiar to me. Ok. Uh -huh. You can also uh, say, by yes. Mention to rules. Sorry to interrupt. You can also okay. say, yes, it is. Why? Because they are asking you with is, you answer with is. And the answer, you have the question, and the question, you have the answer. Hagan esto para practicar estructura ya después no importa si dicen solo yes. Pero por ahorita para solidificar, so you can practice it. Uh, yes, use it. Yes, it is. Yes, it or, is. No it okay. or no, it isn't. Or no, it isn't. And then you uh, say. Okay. It is familiar. Yes, it is. It is familiar. 
I use it all the time. Entonces, yes, it is. It's the word etiquette familiar to you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Yes, it is. Entonces, no nos complicamos entonces con la respuesta porque yo había pensado respuestas un poquito más largas. Sí, porque por ejemplo en la 2, dice mention to rule of etiquette of your workplace. Eh, yo había pensado two important rules of etiquette in, in my work are always Always, eh, como, eh, so, hello, and take eh, car communication. Always say hi. Say hello. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Greet, uh, G -E -R, G -R -E -E -T, G -R -E -E -T, greet. Always greet. Okay. Okay, and, and what are what are your other answers? Answers are are these rules important? Mm -hmm. uh, the rules of etiquette are important in my world. That there is harmony. Nice, good. I like it. Excellent, Sandra. Great job. Just remember to add the question, the answer to that question. Yes, they are they are and they okay. is the etiquette rules okay. great doing fantastic let me check another group okay no soy de oficina mm. pero o sea soy soy contador en costo pero eh, superviso los proyectos bárbaro <laughs> bárbaro ya no ya terminaron sí. Sí. All, all was well uh -huh. <laughs> nice. Ya nos va a enseñar a desviar fondos por si se quiere quedar. Uh -huh. Hey, continue with the class. Guys. Vaya, este, mira, entonces en el caso de Ivania ella dice de que no, que no distraer a los compañeros es algo que le han, dado, le han llamado la atención. Entonces, sería uno, imagino que fuera experiencia lo dice. No, eso es normal. No. Ah, va, está bien, pues va. De ahí, eh, Juan, utilizar uniforme porque en tu lugar de How trabajo. How say that uniforme. in English? Ah, eh, yeah, wear, wear uniform at, yeah. at workplace. Yep. Hey, guys, you can use Spanish, I don't mind. Pueden ocupar el español para ponerse de acuerdo rapidito, pero después traten de meterlo mm. en inglés. Más español uh -huh. ocupan, menos inglés aprenden. Okay. okay. All right, yeah. In intermediate level, you shouldn't speak Spanish ah. at all. Okay. Right. When you start immediately. Uh, Continue, come on. Um, in a northern outwards. The, done yes. it in the, at workplace. Yeah. Oh, uh, but see, workplace, workplace it is. Um, or workstation. Workstation, mm -hmm. like, workstation is better. Mm. Do not. Should um use the el equipo sería equipment 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 pero eso es cuando es equipamiento pero si hablamos de equipo de trabajo es lo mismo coworkers the same no those you can use them as tools 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 ah tools work work tools sería Ah. Work tools. All right, keep it up. Remember, try to keep it in English. You too, Jose Antonio. Don't, don't use the work, the work you, tools. Just, just um, any equipment. Otra cosa, ¿cómo sería? Any... Safety. What? Yeah, wear safety equipment. Wear or safety. use safety equipment if it's something you that can wear. Good. Wear keep it up. Type. Hello. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you doing? What else, William? We're doing well. Uh, respect your partner's, partner's workplace. Okay. Okay. Continue, Miriam. 
Okay. Are the cellular important, William? Yes, they are. Um, the, image Why? The, the image of the company depends on that. And because customers observe the behavior of our company's employees. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, Sarina, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Okay. Uh, number one, don't enter someone else's office co-worker. Don't use cell phone. Okay. Are these rules important? Yes, there are. They are. They are. Uh -huh. They uh -huh. re replaces uh, etiquette rules. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, they they are. Okay, and why? Because it's to better serve our customers. To better serve serve our serve. customers. Mm -hmm. Serve our. To better serve okay. our customers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Or to okay. better assist. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. You can just assist. Ask Miriam. Sorry. Okay. Is the word etiquette familiar to you, Miriam? Yes, it is. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. Rules. Okay. Number, Rose. number one, formal office. Two, number two, respect and entertain. Are these roles important? Yes, they are. Why? Because they facilitate coexistence. They facilitate, perhaps okay. they facilitate. Facilitate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's another word, but it slipped my mind. They, you could say promote to promote, promote, promote. Promote. Mm -hmm. All right, keep it up. Just keep on practicing. We got like a couple of minutes and then we'll go back to the main room. You're doing great. Okay. Yeah. Hello. 35. Hey, hey Irina. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Irina, make sure you change your name, please, to the full name. Yes. Mm -hmm. Segundito. Hi, right, girls. When I hear you. Catherine, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes. And... Yes. Yes. Teacher. <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> no sé. <laughs> how do you answer? How do you answer with the verb to be? If it is? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, in the question, you have the answer, and the answer the question. It's okay. Puedes decir solo yes, pero para que te acostumbres. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. One, be punctual and don't paint your hair in fancy colors. Okay. Are these rules important? Why? Yes, it's very important because it is part of our presentation and it is a code of behavior that must be followed. Okay. Uh, must. Must. Uh -huh. Must okay. be followed. 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 Mm -hmm. Allá okay. la palabra, write it down. Followed. Follow. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Um, Mariana, it is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. I hear this word. Mention two rules of etiquette of etiquette and your workplace. Use of formal wear. I hope you get better, Hector. I really hope you get better.
okay, nice, nice gossip you have right here. I like it, you know, but it, that's a Spanish. Try to say it in English, brother. Okay, two volunteers, please, real quick. Me, Miguel. Go ahead, Miguel, and the other one? Me, Sabrina. Go for it. Okay, Sabrina. Okay. Uh, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. Uh, mention two roles of etiquette at your workplace. Okay. Uh, don't enter someone else's office a co-worker. Don't use cell phone. Okay. Are these really important? Yes, they are. Why? Because it's to better serve our customer. Serve. Okay. Serve. Thank you, Sabrina. Okay. Uh, okay. Is the word etiquette familiar to you, Miguel? Of course, Sabrina. Mention two rule, rules of etiquette are your workplace. And in my company, it's very important to carry the company card and practice company values. Values. Okay. It is very uh, important the... to, sorry to interrupt, very okay. important to carry. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Are these rules important? Uh, yes, they are. Why? Because they help you to have a better work environment. Okay. okay. Good. Good job, guys. Round of applause. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. So, um, fantastic. Nothing to not nothing to add. Was it difficult, Sabrina and Miguel? Was it difficult? Was yes. it easy? That's difficult, little because um, I needed to learn more vocabulary. Exactly. So this is something you can do, guys. You can challenge yourselves by just asking questions about the topics you have covered. Okay? So, si ya vieron simple present, por ejemplo. Sean curiosos. Simple present questions. Bam. Or what I do in my conversation classes. Simple present um, in English, right? Conversation questions, right? Okay. Simple past conversation questions, enter and try to answer them, all right? Okay. So anybody else who wants to participate two more? Thank you, Me, Mariana, Daisy. for raising your hand. Daisy. Go with Daisy. Okay. Okay, Mariana, uh, is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. I hear this word. Mention two roles of etiquette at uh, your, your workplace. Use of formal wear and do not use a neon lacquer color. Are these rules important? Yes, because the personal presentation talks about your workplace. Okay, ya me dijo por qué de una vez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's great. Yes, yeah, that's fantastic. Right. Now, switch. Pregúntame, Mariana. And, oh boy. And, thank you. Is the word etiquette familiar to you? Yes, it is. Okay, mention two rules of etiquette at your workplace. First, use the uniform, and second, wear black shoes. Okay. Where? Where? Uh -huh. Black shoes. Black shoes. Black shoes. Great. Mm -hmm. Are these rules important? Why? Yes, they are because it makes it us give our clients a better image. A better image. Everybody say better. with me, please. Image. 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 Good. Image. All right. Was it easy or difficult? Mm, easy. Easy. So, so? Okay. So. Fantastic. <laughs> so, uh, my friends, today's class, as you know, is about etiquette. So, we are going to have these four questions, okay? We're going to read the questions first, so then we can read it and choose the correct answers, okay? So, okay. say with me, please. If you know you're late, if you, if you know you are late, 
You should. 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 Compensate the time. Compensate the time. Compensate the time. Call the person you report to. Call, Call the person you report to. Report to. Report to. Report to. Report to. Not do anything about it. Not do anything about it. Anything? 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 About it. About, about it. About, about it. it. About what it. do you think is the correct one, guys? A, B, or C? B. 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 Okay. B. All right. We're going to check it in the reading material. Next one. What's a tip to apply? What's a tip to apply in official emails? What was it about to apply? Apply email. Send the mail in English. Send the mail in English. Send the mail in English. Use a long salutation. Use a long salutation. Express the subject clearly. Express the subject clearly. Great. What do you think it is? Letter C, express to search. Okay, pretty logic, right? All righty. Yes. C continue with the next one. Why is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Sorry, which? Which, which is which, not good which, etiquette? Which is not, 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 which is not good not etiquette, etiquette when talking on, on the phone. phone. When talking on the phone. Say it with me, please. Talk it on the phone. Talking, talking, on the on the phone. Phone. talking on the phone. Talking on the phone. Talking on the phone. Mm. I'm listening phone. phone. Like a nickname phone. for Alfonso, phone. I'm listening phone, phone with M as in Michael. It's phone. gonna be like this. Phone. 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 Okay, um, just make sure you pronounce the N as in November and not the M as in Mike. Make sure your lips are not pressed together like this. They should be open. That's right. If, if you feel that your lips are touching themselves, it's not correct. Phone. Good. Now, let me ask you guys, what do you think is the preposition hablar por teléfono? ¿Cuál es la preposición? ¿No lo sabemos todavía? Talking. Talking now. On, on, on the phone. 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 Speak using clear voice. Say, pay attention to uh, to this. Many people say "s speak," right? We mentioned the name of the letter. Mencionamos el nombre de la letra, letter S, pero el nombre no es lo mismo que la pronunciación, que el sonido. El sonido es speak, 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 speak. Uh -huh. So don't uh, please try to avoid avoid this evitar try to avoid e like for example yeah I have someone with s do we say Sabrina or do we say e Sabrina Sabrina right do we say um let me see what else anybody else no that's it. Guys, I got like four people without camera, turkey face on that one. It's not because of me, it's about it and so forth. So, um, speak. 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 Good. Speak. Speak. So, you do this. You tell me if it's correct or incorrect, okay? Speak. Incorrect. 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 So, you can't see my mouth. Speak. Correct. 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 Speak Spanish. Spanish. Speak Spanish. Speak Spanish. Correct. Correct. Speak Spanish. Correct. 
speak Spanish. 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 Incorrect. 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 Ah, Incorrect. you see the difference, right? Excellent. Incorrect. So, speak using clear voice. Speak using clear voice. Speak using clear voice. Interrupt the other speaker. Interrupt the other speaker. speaker. Use polite language. Use, Use polite language. language. So, which one do you think is the correct one? B. Letter B. B. Interrupt the other speaker. B. Letter B. Okay. Letter C? B, because we're talking about not. Good idea. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. The last one. If you receive a call, you, you receive a call, call. while you're eating with co workers. Well, you, you should. You should. You should. Ignore the call and continue eating. Ignore, Ignore the call, call and continue eating. Nice. Call. 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 Oh, good. Great. Call. Like it. Answer the call at the table. Answer. I don't say answer, I say answer. Table. Yeah, here you have to avoid saying table. We don't have a, an O. Table, like blanco. Table. 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 Now you tell me if it's Table. correct or incorrect. Table. 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 Correct. Incorrect. Yes. Incorrect. And what about table? Incorrect. 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 Table. Incorrect. 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 Table. Correct. 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 Table. Correct. Correct. Table. Incorrect. Incorrect. Ah, great, great, great listening skills. And the last one, leave the table and answer the phone. The call. Leave, leave the table and answer the call. Leave the table and answer the call. The call. The call. So uh, which one do you think is the correct one, guys? Letter A. A. Ignore the call and continue eating. C. Yes. Mm. Or letter Option C. C. A or C. Letter A. Letter C. Hey, but if it's my girlfriend, I have to ask. No. I have to. I'm sorry. I have to ask. I have to answer the phone. <laughs> it's not necessary. Hey, I don't want to get in trouble, you know. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, guys, we have a challenge. We got only 12 minutes, 10, 11 minutes to read all of this, okay? So, turkey face, remember, fluency is not speaking like a rapper, like Eminem or Snoop Dogg. Fluency is speaking clearly, claramente, and with minimum pauses, con pausas mínimas. No, no tiene que ser trabalengua. All right? So, los voy a guiar como... Sí, nunca hemos leído, creo, en este módulo, así, no. paragraphs. So, one tip that I can give you is... You have to read the same way you're talking. Tienen que leer de la misma manera que se habla, para que suene natural. Okay? So, no es mi intención llevarlos muy lejos, pero sí voy a leer pedazos como que los tengamos que hablar, okay? Quiero que se preparen para eso. You ready? Yes. Okay. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are there are many workplace etiquette guidelines. There are many But the most important is to be punctual to your office. But the most important is to be punctual to your office. Now, everything together. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. 
There are many workplaces to be punctual to your office. Great. If you're late because you had an emergency, that's okay. You are late because you had an emergency. That is okay. 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 However, However habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. Habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you're late because you had an emergency, that's okay. However, Habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you are late, you are late because, because you had an emergency, emergency, that is okay. That is okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, if you get, if you get to your office on, your office on, time, on time, on time, on time. On time. You show that you're responsible. You show that you are responsible. responsible. And you respect the organization. And you, and you respect, you respect the, organization. the organization. Great, great. You're doing it great. If you get to your office on time, you should. Hey. <laughs> so if it happens to me, it can happen to you. If you get to your office on time, you show that you're responsible. And you respect the organization. You you know that you are that you are responsible. responsible. Respect respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, if you, you know, know that, that will be late, 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 then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you're late. Then, then I would Nice, nice. This is not easy, guys, and you're doing it fantastic. So now I have a major challenge. The whole paragraph. Okay. So I'm gonna do it just one and then you do it yourself. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you're late because you had an emergency, that's okay. However, habitual late comers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you're responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good eti etiquette guideline will be to call the concern authority and report the reason why you're late. Ha, chamacos. Three, two, one, go. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines. 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 There Nice. Fácil, difícil. So, let me tell you something, guys. I worked at a call center once and the first filter to get that job was for me to read a paragraph, okay? Now in Spanish. Una vez trabajé en un call center y el primer filtro me dieron una página. Léalo, vamos a valorar el audio y en base a eso sigo el procedimiento. Okay, so reading is very important. No sé si se acuerdan que teníamos un presidente que no podía leer muy bien. Right? So it is important in English and it is important in Spanish. So, no se preocupen si se quedan atrás. Es normal, es la primera vez. Y de hecho, se espera que se queden atrás. Pero ahora quiero que traten de mantener mi mismo pace, mi mismo ritmo. 
¿ok? okay. So, okay. Cuando yo diga uno, dos, tres, es difícil por todo el ruido que escuchan, pero quiero que vayan conmigo. Lo vamos a hacer tres veces. How many times? Three. Three. Correct. Three. So, Three. Take a deep breath. Agarren una buena bocanada de aire que la van a necesitar. Are you ready? Okay. Ahí voy. There we go. Three, two, one. Go. There are many workplaces. There are many workplaces. There are many workplaces. Okay, good. You see? Second time. Three, two, one, go. There are many and report the reason why you are late. Okay, good, good, good. Fair enough. Now, this this one is very long, so we're gonna do it just two times. All right. Let's move to the next. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. Hey, do we have many pauses in this one? Tenemos muchas pausas en este? No. Ya que no. Exactly. There are no pauses in this one. Why? Context and vocabulary. Now, let's continue. Oh, by the way, el hecho, señores, de que no tenga una coma o un punto, no significa que no van a haber pausas. Right? Eso poco a poco lo van a ir aprendiendo. Continue. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette for other countries. In those cases, it is necessary to have the information the workplace in many other countries. Hey, don't stop. If you haven't uh, finished, don't stop. No importa que los demás ya hayan terminado. Usted termine. Next one. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You also need You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Okay. All right, guys, pause. I'm going to let you take a deep breath. Okay. Relax. You're doing great. Let me take attendance and then we continue. Okay. Alba Noemi Cortez de Gonzalez. Present. Ana Maria Chupan de Garcia. Ana Maria. Okay, not, not present. I think she's going home. Carla Ivana Cabrera Serrano? Present. Claudia, you said Canales de Enriquez? Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura? Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales? Present. Hector Eduardo López Varela? Present. 
José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Give me a second. Sorry, give me a second. Está hablando William. <laughs> Me silencio el teacher, pues no puedo hablar. All right, all right. Sorry about that. I had to do something real quick. Um, José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Ya me dijo Gracias, presente, teacher. ¿verdad? Gracias. Carla Enet Amaya Zara. Carla Enet. Thank you. Carla María Quintanilla Vélez. Not present. Present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Cisneros Reyes. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Mira Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Natalia Carolina González. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Good. Thank you, sir. Present. Reina, Reina María Isabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Okay, thank you guys. Almost perfect attendance. Almost, almost, almost. You're doing great. So, how do you feel with the reading? ¿Cómo se siente con la lectura? Good, very nice. Me cuesta, right. tengo palabras que no, que no conozco. Claro, okay. claro. Don't worry about vocabulary, guys. No se preocupen por el vocabulario. Yo estoy tratando de llevarlos a un siguiente nivel y no les estoy teniendo... Oh, estoy... <risa> Siempre desde lo... <risa> desde lo... Um... ¿Cómo podría decir esto? Pedagógico. Exacto, that's the word. Pedagógicamente que sé que lo pueden keep up. Y no me estoy enfocando tanto en la pronunciación de todas y cada una de las palabras, sino que ustedes tomen una base de eso. ¿Ok? Um, poco a poco van a ir adaptando todas esas, eh, la entonación nuevamente, intonation, lo que hizo nuestra concejal en Estados Unidos. No es que tuviera mala pronunciación, sino que la entonación está ausente. <ríe> ok, so, esa melodía que vamos subiendo y bajando, si yo me pongo a explicárselas, no es el momento, y aún fuese el momento, hay cosas que son confusas al explicarlo. Así que es mejor hacerlo de una manera de repetition y se va obteniendo automáticamente para cuando llegue el momento de explicarles el rhythm, intonation, el estrés en las words, todos los linking, ya me acuerdo. Ok, ese es para un que aprendizaje no subliminal. Um, yeah, with practice, pretty much. With practice. Mm -hmm. Algo que les quiero comentar es que nosotros no tenemos el idioma en nuestro país. Y por eso no podemos aprender. Tenés que aprender como lo hacen los nativos. Pa, tendríamos que volver a nacer. Y ser bebés de nuevo. Porque no hablamos bien hasta los cuantos. Siete, ocho años que ya más o menos lo masticamos. Así que no se dejen vender la idea. Mi consejo, si lo quieren creer, go ahead. No se dejen vender la idea que en uno o dos años vamos a hablar como un nativo. Sí se puede, pero the amount of work and effort uh, is tremendous. Ni siquiera en los estados, guys. Hay tanto latino, tanta, tanto mix, que no se necesita hablar inglés. Hay gente que lleva 20 años aquí y todavía se equivocan al pedir una Coca-Cola. Sí, no, no. All right. So, turkey face on this one. In our countries, we cannot learn like natives. No podemos hablar, no podemos aprender como nativos, pero se nos exige en los trabajos hablar como nativos. Así que, démosle, guys. Not an easy task, but not impossible. Let's continue with this one. Read it with me, ya. Yeah. Solo, ya vamos a terminar, solo falta como tres páginas. Um, etiquette is also important when you have to communicate. No, 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 this is the one. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. Go. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette for other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. Okay. 
concise. 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 You also need to include all the important details. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. You should, you should use formal and grammatical correct language for emails. Okay, now wait for me. Okay, do not repeat, please, until I finish. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Three, two, one, go. You're reducing the gap. Gap is a distance between two points. Una distancia. So now take a deep breath. And do it with me. This time I'm going to participate and try to keep up. Keep up is mantenerse ready. Three, two, one, go. Etiquette is also important Around seven seconds after me, approximately. Great job. Let's continue. In addition, in addition, in addition. you see, I don't say in addition. You digo in, in, a, in addition. In addition. In addition. When you have a consonant and a vowel, you link it. This is a consonant to vowel link. No se los expliqué anteriormente que lo tenían que linkear, pero lo hicieron automáticamente. ¿Por qué? Porque ustedes están repitiendo. You are mirroring. Great job. You see, this is what I'm talking about. No se los explico, pero lo repiten y lo hacen bien. Let's continue. In addition. In addition. In addition. Knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. We have to speak Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Talk to your employees. Talk to, Talk to your, your employees. Talk to your employees. Good. That's like a boxer. Que dejan pegado un par de 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 jabs así. Talk to talk. Talk to your. Talk to your. Talk to your employees. Talk to your employees. Talk to your employees. Talk to your employees. From here, listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Be sure Now, wait for me. Solo lo vamos a hacer una vez. Yo creo que ya se cansaron. So am I. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. 
Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Here go. In addition, Great job. Next and the last. <sighs> Relax, almost there, almost there. <sighs> there we go. Etiquette guidelines are important even when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a Blah, blah, blah. Blah. If you get a call when you're eating, if you get a, if you get a, if you get a call when you're eating, say excuse me, and then receive the call. Do we have do we have pauses in this one? Do we have tenemos? Do we have pauses in this one? Yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Yes. Yeah. Let's continue from here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Do not talk loudly while eating. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. 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 <laughs> That's true. Obviously, with your mouth closed, right? You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. You should, you should remember, remember Following wow. etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Okay, I want you to pay attention to this. Can play a very vital role. Lo digo de un solo. Very vital role. Okay. Why? Las palabras que ustedes van, eso, again, sorry for speaking English, esto no les toca, pero quiero que vayan teniendo una idea. Los verbos, como este. Los adverbios, que son los que modifican un verbo, por ejemplo, I run slowly, yo corro lentamente. Modifican la manera en la que corro. Vital es un adjetivo, está describiendo. Role es un noun. Ok, so estas cuatro categorías en el inglés van, van siempre para arriba. Todo lo demás, como los modal verbs, como los auxiliares, como las preposiciones, todo eso va para abajo. O, o no para abajo, sino que no se le levanta la voz. So, for example, following etiquette guidelines can play, aquí abajo, can play, a, abajo de nuevo, very vital role. For, tampoco, porque es preposición. So yo no digo for future, yo digo for future, for future promotions. Ok, lo dejé de último porque solo quiero que vean. One more time. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. That's the melody. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. One more time. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for future promotions. Right? Now, try to say it exactly like I do. Following etiquette guidelines, I van tres de un solo. Following etiquette guidelines can, bajamos, can play a very vital role for future promotions. Go. 
following etiquette following etiquette run night every month promotion 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 prom
la siguiente semana hagan tres y así hasta que llegue un momento que ustedes si lo pueden hacer todos los días eso va a ser pero genial no van a estar perdiendo su tiempo I guarantee se lo garantizo any questions comments no gracias por sus consejos hey guys Thank es lo, es lo menos que puedo hacer that's the least I can do ya si no aprenden I'm sorry ya le di <laughs> ya, ya no es cosa mía ok so here guys you're gonna summarize Five etiquette guidelines. Summarize, it means to make it clear and concise. And for this, you're going to apply your reading and comprehension. Okay? I know you don't know all the vocabulary, but I want you to get five. Okay? Cinco oraciones de etiqueta de esto. Okay? So, open your PDF, leanlo entre ustedes. Vamos a tener aproximadamente, we're going to have approximately, yeah, creo que en 10 minutos lo hacemos. Uh, 10 a 15 minutos, 10 to 15 minutes, porque después ustedes van a tener que hacer su propio manual en su empresa. Para esto, ¿qué estamos ocupando, guys? ¿Qué estructura ocupamos? Analicen. What is this? Great. Great is saludar. Modal verb. Si quieren saber si es un verbo, díganlo así. Yo saludo, tú saludas, él saluda, yo saludé, yo voy a saludar. Si les pega verbo. Subject. Pero si ustedes de pronto dicen everyone, mm -mm. I everyone, you everyone, I everyone, I will not pay. Okay, so if this is a verb and this is the complement, what structure are we using? Think. Open the Maruchan, pour hot water, wait five minutes, enjoy your meal. Remember that? Is that the verb to be? Is that simple present? Is that imperative? What is that? Imperative. Imperative, that's right. So, When do we use imperatives? Ordenar. Exactly, to give commands, okay? Commands. Son comandos. Good, so now you know this, guys. Go, you're gonna work in, in, in groups and you're gonna summarize five etiquette. So for example, There are many worker etiquettes, but the most important. Oh, is to be poncho. There's one right here. Poncho to your office. Be poncho. No necesitamos el two. Subject, I'm sorry, verb, complement. If you're late because you had an emergency, that's okay. However, blah, 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 blah. blah. And try to get the ones. Traten de sacarla de todo esto. Any question? No, no question. See you in 11 minutes. Go, 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 go. Let me recreate the groups just a sec. Teacher, ya regresé. Yo le oigo con eco. No sé si solo soy yo para revisar mi equipo o alguien más. No, se escucha. Se escucha como una interferencia. Yeah, that's right. Okay. okay gracias. Three to four participants, go for it. See you in 10 minutes. 11. Go, 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 go. Saquen las que están ahí escondidas en ese, en ese reading material.
Are you calling the correct mm -hmm. language for mm -hmm. me? If you get to your office on time, también. Sí, tenemos tres, vamos a ver. ¿Y por qué no la vamos haciendo así Ajá. en cascada? Ajá, vamos haciéndola en solo. Sí, uh -huh. sí. Vaya. La primera sería... Uh, be punctual. Ajá. Be... Be punctual to your office. Oh. Yes. Um, to your office. Mm? Veo que también. Mm. If you get to your office on time. If you get up. Arrive, office, okay. arrive to your office on time. Arrive to your office on time. Okay. Eso sería una no, verga. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. sí, sí. sí. All right. All right. To your office. That's the same as being punctual. Wow. It's a fear. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, okay. and this yeah. is the difference between English and Spanish, right? Llegar a la oficina temprano, right? That's, uh, that's Spanish. All right. Mm -hmm. Arrive yes. to your office on time. It's fine. I mean, we yes. can understand it. But okay. you have it right there. Be okay. punctual. Ven la diferencia, llegar temprano al trabajo. Four things. Mm. Be punctual, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Mention the subject clearly and be concise uh, in, in the emails, official emails, no sé. In the office. Keep it up. Any questions Mention before I check another group? Clear and be concise. No? Okay. Y la última, el, de, la última oración del segundo párrafo, you should use formal and grammatical correct so, language for me. Yes. Mm -hmm. You should use formal and grammatical correct language for events. Use formal. Yes. Mm -hmm. And. To talk, they listen to what they say careful. Listen to what they say careful. And the third one. Email. Okay. Email. Listen to what they say carefully. Mm -hmm. Sí. Listen. Do, do not do. interrupt. Ajá, cabal. Do not interrupt, yes. Hay varias. Sí, hay varias. Do what they say. También esa la que sigue, ahí mismo hay varias. Be, be sure your voice is clear when you speak to a boy brown interpretation. También puede ser una, ¿no? We speak to a boy brown interpretation. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Be polite sería otro, dijiste, va. What? Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Ah, ok, sí, también. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí en, es, en el tercero hay varias. Sí, be polite. Casi todo. When you talk. When you talk, talk to your employees. Prácticamente el tercero, todas las oraciones. When you are, uh -huh. you are también we have when you are celebrating with your coworkers. Super by stars. Listen. Now, oh, you're doing great. But I, I would ask you to give it a little thought. Piénsalo un poquito. Do you think that... <clears throat> Um, be polite when you're having lunch with your co-workers. It's like a main or the most important one. Creo que cuando van a una empresa le van a decir, cuando estés almorzando con tus co-workers, tienes que ser polite. It is good. Es etiqueta. Uh -huh. 
pero creen que es como principal? No, no. I mean, it's okay. You can, you can have it. Just yeah, I'll give it a little thought. You see, varios hablan de lo mismo. Get the most important one. The most important. The most important. You're doing fantastic. Keep it up. Okay. Okay. Bye. No hable para evitar. Es lo que se me está diciendo. But listen to the that to the say careful when the you to look picture the boy clear. Just pack it, sir. Listen, they say careful, pongamos no. Oh, and do not interrupt. Yo creo que él dijo que no fuera muy larga, ¿va? Sí. Porque no le ponemos en y do not interrupt. O solo do not interrupt, no interrupt. No sé qué les parece. Do not interrupt. And, and one Pero a quién? O sea, una uh -huh. norma, una regla debe ir bien clara. That's right. Lo ponemos, mm -hmm. no interrumpir, ¿a quién vamos a interrumpir? Listen to speak to say to careful and don't interrupt. Mm -hmm. Okay. And say, you get a call when you're eating, say? Now, try to get the most important one, guys. Traten de, si varios se parecen, traten de sacar como el principal. Sí. Sí, porque en cada párrafo entiendo que está bien explicado un tema y cuáles son las cosas que hay que respetar. Okay. So, get the most important. ¿Creen ustedes que cuando lleguen a una empresa van a decir, cuando estés comiendo con tus con tu compañeros, uh, sé cortés? I mean, ya. Yeah. Ya es como más orientado a eso. Uh -huh. So, you can get like, like the most important. This is don't talk lonely, why? Give it a little thought. Solo quería plantar la idea. You're doing great. Okay. Any question before I check another eh, book? Eh, um, Podemos usar la de remember to close your mouth when you're chill. When you when you chew. When you when you remember, chew. you just need the verb. No necesariamente, como estamos ocupando imperativos, no necesariamente necesita remember. Entonces to solo to close your mouth when you oh. when you chew. Porque mm -hmm. es imperativo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Exacto. Good question. Keep it eh, up. Okay. Be, uh -huh. eh, be sure your voice is clear when you speak. Definitely. Okay. Do, do you think I can have three like this? Be polite when you talk. Hey guys, go ahead, go ahead and listen to me. My voice is not clear, right? So you mm -hmm. can understand what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome. Eh, Before and the member are under observation. Esa ya es la última, Catherine. Está en la penúltima fila, este fila. Okay. The one before the last. La penúltima. The one before the last. Before the last. <clears throat> what do you have so far? What do you have so far? Okay. To be punctual to your office, creo que es la que nos había dicho. The e-commerce are never appreciated in any organization. Okay, yes. Mm, you show that you are responsible. <clears throat> okay, let's go back to the first one. Read the first one again, please. Read the first one again. Mm, commerce are never appreciated in any organization. 
before that. You show that you are responsible. Before that. You have communication with employees. That's after, before, antes, la primera, the first. You show that you are responsible. Vale. Um, en este caso, acuérdense que estamos ocupando imperativos. Okay. So, tú muestras que eres responsable, pero ¿cómo? Entonces, digamos lo fuéramos a poner, solo vamos a ocupar, en vez de show, creo que ser responsable es parte de la etiqueta en el trabajo. Uh -huh. So, ser responsable sería be responsible. You be responsible. Solo eso, solo okay. be responsible. Acuérdense que solo va el verbo y el complemento. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. ¿Cuál fue la primera que me dijiste que dice tú y algo? Ah, que esa, esa, pero esa es la que nos había dicho. To be punctual to your office. Muy bien. Pero, Entonces, quitémosle el to, porque acuérdense que va solo el verbo. Be, uh -huh. Just be punctual. Be punctual. punctual. To your office, ok. Um, you have communication with employees. Que hay que quitarle para que sea interactivo. Have. You, perdón. Uh -huh. So, have good communications with your employees. Ok. Y así vamos. Entonces, just the verb and the complement. Ok. Mm, quiero ver. <coughs> Use Here. formal. Ajá. Uh -huh. You have one Use right there. Use formal. Use formal and grammatical correct language for emails. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this one, there's one right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, creo que ya. So, de todo esto, esta sería nada más. Use formal and grammatically correct language for email. Eso es todo lo que pueden sacar de acá. Okay. Now, for example, there's another one here. Be punctual to your office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your office. Okay. Here's another one, for example. So, no necesita uh, como un gran montón de cosas, ¿no? Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo, solo es el verbo, el verbo y el complemento. Y el complemento. Uh -huh. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Keep it up. Any questions before I check another group? No, teacher. Ya está claro. Vamos a arreglar las que habíamos. Okay. Sacado. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. How are you doing, guys? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Show me what you got, please. Uh, we have uh, be polite. Yes. Be polite when you talk to your employees. Uh -huh. To your employees. And call the concert or... authority how to close an uh, employee. Sorry. Don't call disorder. the concerned authority how to communicate with employees or clients. Oh, okay. Uh, in that one. Um, you should use formal. Okay, what about, what about the imperatives? The imperatives are just the verb, right? It is just the verb. So I'm gonna help you the same way I helped another, another group here. So if you have this, you have a lot of explanation about what's going on. Tienen un montón de información, but here, there are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual. So, be punctual is one. Just that, solo eso. Sé puntual. Todo lo demás gira. Y tú llegas tarde. Pero es una emergencia. Está bien. Sin embargo, more information. Never appreciate it. There's nothing here. This is just more information. If you get to your office on time, you show that you're responsible. So, todo esto ya lleva contexto. Tendría uh -huh. que tener contexto en los valores o las, la etiqueta. So, 
and you respect the organization. Mm -hmm. Respect the organization. Respect the organization. Okay. Why? This does not need uh, okay. context. No okay. necessita context. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you got like three minutes. Make sure that you try to fix them. If you know that you will be late, context. A good etiquette guideline. Aquí sería esta, ¿ve? Call the concerned no, authority. No, no, no. If you know that you will be late, sería de acá para acá. ¿Necesita contexto eso? No, ya está claro. Call the concerned authority if you know that you will be late. Mm, mm, All right. Okay. Try to fix the other ones, guys. You got this. Okay. okay. Bueno, entonces eliminamos esto. Eliminate or modify, you know, if you have to. Okay. Modify, call the concerned authority. If you be late. Bless you. Um, thanks. He should use formal and grammatically correct language. Yes, that's one. We should push the formal and grammatically correct language. Come on, guys, have the communications with each other. Leanda and Voz Alta, participate. Ayúdense. Ya quedan 30 segundos, pero siempre trabajen en grupo. Okay. ¿Cuál pusieron, este, Sandra? Eh, la primera, B puntual. Eh, otra es. Is yes, the you should use your formal and grammatically correct mm -hmm. lang language. Yes. And you respect the organization, but. Ah, uh, yes. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> let's go ahead and take the last attendance of the class. Let's see if everybody's here. Por favor, que se me ha fugado alguien. Can you hear me okay? Sí, lo escuchamos. Okay. Alba Noemí Cortés de González. Alba. Alba, are you here? Parece oh, hola. conectada, pero que no nos oye. Oh, yeah, she is. I think. Hola, hola, perdón, es que me sacó, me sacó el inter. Oh, usted era lo que me faltó. Ahorita entré otra vez, sí. Okay. Perfect. So, Alba Noemí Cortés de Muchachos. Present. Ana María Chupone García. Present. Carla Ivana Cabrera Solano. Present. Carla Vicet Canales de Enriquez. Present. Daisy Marcela Rosales Canjura. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosmo Morales. Present. Héctor Eduardo López Varela. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Carla Yanet Amaya Zara. Present. Carla María Quintanilla Vilés. Not present. Catherine Melissa Susana Campos. Present. Mariana Carolina Pinero Reyes. Present. Granjero Verde. Granjero. Present. Thank you. Mira Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Natalia Carolina González. Present. Don Alfonso María Escalante. Present. Don Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Sabrina Mabela Dín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. 
present. All right, great. So let's go ahead and try to get this uh, in group, guys. Okay. So let's do it right here. From this paragraph, which um, etiquette guidelines can we get <coughs> from this paragraph? Be punctual to your office. Be punctual to your office. Uh huh. You are responsible. You are responsible. You are responsible. Yeah, it's going to be, if you want to have this one, you can have be responsible. Be responsible. Be responsible. The yes. other one you just said, respect, respect the organization. Yes. What else? From this paragraph. Get to your office of time. Yeah, be punctual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. From and the second the one. Reason. Call the concerned. For the reason call you are late. Authority to report. Oh, yep. But this one, guys, goes like this. Call yeah. the concerned authority. To uh -huh. report. A report. A report. If you know you will be late. Oh. Yeah. So you go from here to here. If, if you, you want. Right. Right. So this is part one. And this is part two. One and two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go with the next paragraph. Uh, hmm. Ahí tenemos, eh, communication eh, with employees. Mm, eh, communicate with employees. Correct language for emails. For email. We need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Where is it? Somebody, I think Ana Maria mentioned. You see formal and grammatical correctness. Yep, this one. Use formal and grammatically correct language for email. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it, guys. Si sacaron más, ¿cuáles otros sacaron de aquí? Mm. Uh, we need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. Okay, but this. Ya llevaría subject. You need to mention. Ahora, creen que ustedes, you need to mention the subject clearly and concise. Creen ustedes que este ya está integrado en este? Yes. 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 It is implicit, yes. right? Yes. So yeah, you can yes. skip with this one because all of this is more information of a bigger thing. Okay. Any questions on this? No. No? All right. Sorry, I'm going to erase it so I can go to the next. Next, uh, be polite when you talk. In this when one. you talk. In addition, okay. knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very important. So here, you can have, for example, no okay. telephone okay. etiquette. To give you an idea. Like this. No, no sería knowledge, nada más sería no. No. Oh, okay. Telephone etiquette. Ah, uh, yeah. No. Um, no. No. Etiquette. Mm -hmm. Of telephone etiquette. Mm -hmm. You already mentioned it. Mm -hmm. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Completo. Mm -hmm. And be sure your voice is clear when you speak. Mm -hmm. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak. No. To avoid no. wrong interpretation. Okay. Oh, and in this one, we can also have listen to, 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 to Se acuerdan, guys, que yo siempre les menciono que el, los pronombres are you, he, she, it, we, they reemplazan de quien hablamos. Yes. ¿A quién yes. referimos con they acá? Uh, them? Ellos. Ellos. Employees. Ellos? Supervisors. Solo los supervisores? Um, employees or supervisors. Employees. How do you say emple ¿Cómo se dice? Employees and supervisors. Boss, supervisors. Oh, I forgot. Employees, colleagues. Uh, okay, colleagues, but co-workers. 
So, acá ah, fácilmente. Listen to what? Sería your coworkers. Listen to what your coworkers say carefully and do not interrupt. Este puede ser uno. Listen to what your coworkers say carefully and do not interrupt. Ah, O podemos sustituirlo por your super supervisor. Yeah, your supervisors. Your bosses. Your bosses. Managers. Exactly. Very good. Do you have something different in this one? No? Okay. No. Next one. The last paragraph. Next one. Get a doubt from your, your eating. Say, excuse me. And say, excuse me. And then recite the call. Mm, okay, say excuse me. Then receive the call. If you get a call when you're eating. Now, do you think that this is a primary etiquette or secondary? Secondary. Secondary. Mm -hmm. Creen que cuando llegan a una oficina, lo primero que dicen, hey, si estás comiendo y te llegan una llamada, decir, lo siento, y te lo tiran. You know, it's no. no. Next one. Close your mouth when you chew. Yep. What else? Mm. It following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role for the promotions. And don't talk loudly. Well. Yeah. Do not talk loudly, loudly while eating. Here's another one here. Do not, Do not talk, talk loudly while eating. eating. Mm -hmm. And if we have this. Remember, does your behavior? Behavior. Behavior. Mm -hmm. Behavior. Debes de acordarte que tu comportamiento y modales están bajo observación. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Solamente tu comportamiento y modales. Yeah, uh, this is just a recommendation. Should, right? Deberías. It's a recommendation. You should, deberías. Now, this one that I have right here, following etiquette guidelines, how can we say this as an imperative? Using the same thing, what do we need to modify to make this an etiquette guideline? Follow, follow guidelines. Yes, yeah. guys, just follow. Follow. Guidelines. Follow. Y ahí ya tienen otro. Follow, follow. etiquette guidelines. Follow etiquette mm -hmm. guidelines. Follow. Easy or difficult? Um, so, so? Difficult. Difficult. Okay, so for the last five minutes of the class, let's go ahead and pretend that you have an important meeting with, uh, you know, Chinese people invest a lot. Los chinos han invertido en todo. So let's say that you have a meeting with Chinese investors. Okay, you have a meeting with Chinese investors. What are some um, guidelines that you can have for this particular event? Etiquette guidelines with people from other country. Come on, I need everybody working on this. Be polite. Okay, yeah, be polite. Acuérdense, nos estamos reuniendo con unas personas que vienen de China, son inversionistas extranjeros. Um, ¿Ustedes creen que van a llegar y le van a dar un high five? No, no. no. Uh, so, be sure your voice is clear when you speak to a well. background interpretation. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak. Uh -huh, Ajá, yeah. ya. What else? We're close, appropriate for the occasion. 
wear appropriate, appropriate clothing. Clothes for the occasion. Uh -huh. What else? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Put a, a smartphone in mute. <laughs> Uh, be punctual. Meanwhile, ¿cómo, ¿cómo sería? Set your phone. Set your phone, uh -huh. oh, mute. Yes. Silent mode. Also, oh, silent mode. Uh -huh. Paying uh -huh. attention. Silent es con una L, se me fue la otra. Silent. Paying attention. Pay close attention, close, no es que esté cerrado, sino que cercano. Pay close attention. Okay. Now, what do you have Attend to do? Attend a meeting on time. Ah, uh -huh. be on time, yeah. Be respect, respectful, respectful of their culture. To their culture. To their culture. I'm not sure if it's the Chinese people. Ustedes creo yo que son los chinos. Si ustedes les dan un tip en un restaurante se ofenden. Creo que son ellos, no me acuerdo. Tengo las ideas confusas. Yes. Si son los japoneses, tip, creo. No sé, uno de los dos. Ajá, uh -huh, I'm, I'm close. So that's the thing. So you have to, how do you say, uh, conoce su cultura? No. 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 You have to know No. Their culture. Culture. Mm -hmm. culture. That's right. Their culture. Give me you one more. Culture. Sharing correctly. Uh, come again. Sentarse correctamente. Oh, oh okay. Sharing correctly. Sit correctly. Ah, Very much. So, what did we learn today? We practiced pronunciation. We practiced reading. We learned about etiquette. And we practiced imperatives. Right? Todas esas cuatro cosas hicimos ahora, guys. Pronunciación. Um, aprendimos de etiqueta. Lectura. Y también repasamos imperativos. Okay? So you've done a great job, guys. I know that this, this has been difficult. Sé que estuvo pesado. Sé que estuvo de mucho pensar, de mucho hablar. Thank you very much for your effort. And you know the drill, right? Do your homework. We need to deliver the test tomorrow. I'm sorry, all the homework for tomorrow. Todas las tareas hasta la clase de mañana para mañana. Okay? Before midnight, okay. and send me the picture. La foto no es necesaria, pero me evitan a mí. Se lo digo alto y claro. Me evitan a mí tener que estar revisando uno por uno. <ríe> Así de sencillo. Así que si me mandan la foto, great. Ahí está la prueba de que ya lo hicieron. Y solo paso la calificación. Me hacen la vida más fácil. Así que si me quieren, hagan eso. Si no, pues no importa. Igual yo lo haré. So, thank you very much, guys. You know what to do. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good, Good job, guys. Fantastic job today. Thank you. Get out of here.